So for the newly diagnosed person, oftentimes they can't believe that they've actually been given a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. And particularly when all the clinician did is have them walk down the hall and uh, maybe feel their arms and have them tap their, their fingers. So it's important to realize that the, that the diagnosis of Parkinson's disease today in the United States is purely a clinical diagnosis. So the diagnosis is made on the history, that is the story that you tell the uh, clinician about how your symptoms have developed and the findings on the neurological exam. And what uh, the clinician is looking for are really three things. One is that there's a very characteristic tremor, the rest tremor, the tremor when the hand is at rest. The second is a stiffness in the muscle. And oftentimes people don't feel that stiffness, but it's something that the clinician can feel as they passively move your, uh, your uh, arm or your leg, but generally your arm. And then the third thing is looking for a slowness in particularly fine uh, motor movements. And the one that's commonly used is just tapping the finger. And you can make it harder for the person by having them tap in like this. And so, so the diagnosis comes from, again, the history and those findings. And it, with a clinician that is experienced with Parkinson's disease, they can make the diagnosis with uh, some certainty fairly early in the disease and after a year or two following the person then they can be almost a hundred percent certain of the diagnosis. They are never a hundred percent certain but they can be uh, very very uh, clear. So I think many people don't understand how the diagnosis is made and for that reason feel uh, uncomfortable about, about the diagnosis. Now, um, I think the other thing to realize about Parkinson's disease, it is a progressive disorder. And in fact, if the disease does not progress, then we probably have the wrong diagnosis. So that's the bad news. It's a progressive dis disorder. The good news is that sometimes the rate of progression is very slow. and uh, in other people, the, the progression can be more rapid. But we also think that the rate of progression might be under the control of the person to some extent. And that's where we see exercise, uh, helping the brain compensate for the loss of dopamine may actually help people do much better and slow the rate at which people have difficulty that comes from Parkinson's disease.